So let's get this out of the way. We freaking love Hercules Mata Afa. I loved him when he came in as a UDFA in 2018. Just as, oh, he's going to be John Randall 2.0. I can feel it, baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Herc, you know, the issue with him coming in is that he was 254 pounds, which, yeah, I can commiserate with. But he tweeted out last night that he's up to 289.2, which is pretty solid, which is also all of us after this whole quarantine thing is over. But, you know, but that is starting to approach uh, NFL starter caliber size for a three tech. So will the pride of Washington State finally bust out in year three? Hmm, let's talk about today. Uh, quick background on Herc. So, uh, came in the league in 2018, like we mentioned. 6'2", 254-pound defensive tackle. So, you think, okay, sure. 2017 consensus All-American uh, for Mike Leach and company. 2017 Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, which is hard to do. It's a good conference. 21 career sacks, 45 and a half tackles for loss in 34 games. Was a force. Three-year starter on the D-line. I just had an insane Richard Jr. season 2017. 10 and a half sacks, 22 and a half tackles for loss. Partridge and Paratree. It was just wrecking fools. Uh, declare for the draft. Win undrafted. Why? I mean, size. I mean, it, just because uh, the NFL like, likes to fit all of their players into a box. Like if you, if you don't check all these various metrics, uh, we, we ain't taking it right. So Herc was seen as a bit of a tweener. Was, is he a D end? Is he a D tackle? I mean, he's probably not gonna be a D tackle in the league. Is he a linebacker? He's not quick enough for that. Don't really know. But uh, of course we like to point out just because you know it meshes up with our sensibility. John Randall, we came into the league, uh, Texas A and I Kingsville, which doesn't even exist anymore. Changed names. 6'2", 246, ran a 4, 8, 8, 40. Hercules, bad, mata afa. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Herc. 6'2", 245, ran a 4, 7, 6, 40. Ah, there you go. Hall of Fame. Straight up. And, and I love Herc. He, it's really fun to watch him. It's infectious. Like, he's all heart and hustle. Tasmanian devil out there. Just a whirling dervish of leverage and, like, knives and just, like, outworking you and teeth and fingernails. I'm going to come at you like a tornado made of arms and teeth. And, and fingernails. That's what Herc is. Uh, but unfortunately, tore his ACL. 2018 rookie year out of OTAs. And, I mean, people kind of forgot about him. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, a player who's not even there for training camp and, of course, the season's easy to put on the shelf. But the Vikings ran it back with him. 2019 rehab that ACL. And the Vikings even considered moving him to D-end or linebacker. Eventually, he settled back at defensive tackle because they've been trying to figure this thing out for a long time. Because, I mean, uh, Afadi's playing some three-tech, Jalen Holmes, I mean, Jaleel Johnson, Armand Watts is in the mix, but they don't really know what's going on. But Herc, he bulked up to 275, respectable weight gain, which, you know, if you can't be on your feet for a couple of months, I mean, it's easy to go from 254 to 275, except he actually put on good weight. So, big difference there. Uh, and in training camp or preseason... I mean, he was straight up wrecking fools. Well, like he was out there looking like he did a Washington State Pac-12 Friday night lights. Let's light this thing up. Let's go. And uh, especially in that first Saints preseason game, because we thought like, here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. What's my weakness? Herc. Three pressures and a sack and also had two nice stops in the run game. Here, here it is. Three tech of the future. Let's freaking play. Uh, was a pretty significant role player the first three weeks of the season. You know, racked up two pressures against the Falcons week one. Had 26 total snaps. Uh, I think they had 74 uh, total defensive snaps that day. Uh, but then after that, not a lot. Not not a lot. After week seven, more, he was basically MIA. Uh, not until the exhibition game against the Bears week 17. Never on the injury report. Uh, was always a healthy scratch. Didn't really know what was going on. Uh, yeah, it partially coincided with the uh, actually beginning to use Armand Watts, except he wasn't getting a lot of snaps either, either way. But Herc ended up with only 100 total snaps in 2019, which is insultingly low. Like, I, I didn't understand. Uh, but now... Coming in uh, another full year removed from that ACL. And 2020 is going to have to be a big season for him because the Vikings, like we've been talking about all day, are very much hurting for some uh, interior uh, pressure. And could Hercules uh, be an every down starting three tech? Maybe, maybe not. But can he be uh, a passing down sub package force? Absolutely, he can. And he, he, you know, we mentioned his tweet. He tweeted out he's yoked up to 289, which make him better against the run. Not as easy to push around and be washed out by some of the guards uh, in the league. And I'm hopeful. I, I love him. I love Armand Watts. I think the Vikings do have a feisty little core of underrated, underappreciated defensive tackles in the mix here. So, I mean, I, I'm I'm hopeful. I, I am I am rather hopeful that the Vikings can actually get it done this year. Plus, I mean, with Herc, 
technically he's in a contract year this year because uh, he came in as UDFA. Those guys always get three-year contracts. So he's going to be a restricted free agent in 2021. And even at original round tender, that's two and a half million bucks. Or he could be an exclusive rights free agent which is basically like, here. here's what you get paid. It's usually not a lot. We'll have to look into that. Spot Rex says it's going to be an RFA. Could easily be an ERFA, but either way, whatever. But he's going to have to show something this year. I mean, uh, year three, even though, yeah, he lost his first year to an ACL, it's time to, you know, poop or get it off the pot. You know what I mean? So, Herc, one time. Hercules, Hercules. Let's go. All right, your thoughts. Hercules Mata off a year three. Breakout year? Let's do it up. Also, subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. If you want to support the work, pull us up on the Venmo. Plus, give us a follow on social media as well. Until next time, Skull, production value.